Hi, Bon, and a very good morning and a warm welcome to all of you, distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the President Environment Awards 2021-2022. Can I invite you all to please take your seat as the event will commence shortly. Thank you. Ayubo one, good morning. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022, organized by the Central Environmental Authority. To start off today's proceedings, ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the environment song presented by students of Visaka Vidyale, Colombo.
adventure. It's time to gather to meet all challenges. It's time to gather for a sustainable solution. It's time to gather for a better world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022. Please welcome your host for the day, Sharon Moskrinias and Lakshita Idrisingha. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Good morning. Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. It is our absolute pleasure and honor to be here today at the Presidential Environment Awards 21-22. Well, to start off, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure all of us who are here today are well aware that man and nature are inextricably linked. And at a time where sustainability and environmental conservation is a dire need, not only of Sri Lanka, but of the entire world, we are gathered here today for Presidential Environment Awards, where we acknowledge, appreciate, honor, and encourage businesses, entities, and individuals who have contributed in numerous ways towards environmental conservation and to raise environmental consciousness of our society. Sharon? I won, and a warm welcome to all of you. Yes, a Friday morning is what we live and breathe in this fabulous globe that we call the environment where nature lives on and how we contribute ourselves as individuals ladies and gentlemen in a short moment from now we'll see the arrival of the president uh, the Rani Vikramasinghe will be joining us here today as our chief guest and we are delighted to have with us the Minister of Environment, Engineer Nasir Ahmed, Dr. Anir Jha Singh, the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment and other officials and all our award winners who have joined us here this morning. We're gathered here, as Lakshita said, to celebrate the outstanding efforts of the industries, the business organizations and individuals who have contributed towards the environment conservation and sustainable development. The Central Environment uh, Environmental Authority has organized these annual awards to encourage and promote people's participation in sustainable development and we're pleased to present these awards for both years for the year 2021 and 2022 at this year's award ceremony we have a total of 16 sectors that will be recognized here this morning waste management projects renewable energy generating projects and the industry initiatives in promoting the the three are concept at, at cities. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're also proud to say that the Central Environmental Authority has uh, received the ISO 9000, um, an initiative that's really, really promising. Can we give them a round of applause? It's a tremendous effort while we congratulate each and every one who is involved in making this possible. We're going to start this morning's proceedings with the formal address. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, most cordially invite the chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Mr. Supun S. Patirage, to extend a very warm welcome to today's gathering. Your applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all. Honorable Masir Ahmed, Minister of Environment, and the Secretary of Ministry of Environment, and other additional secretaries of the ministry, and former uh, members of Board of Central Environment Authority, members of Environmental Council, Chairman. Geological Survey and Mines Bureau, Director General, Central Environment Authority, Deputy Director Generals, Directors, and all other staff. Members of the Jury and Awarding Ceremony, and you all, the Presidential Award winners of the respective industries and institutes, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe, the President of Social Democratic of Sri Lanka, 
to the Presidential Environmental Award 2021-2022 and as you heard, he will be reached shortly to the event as the chief guest. And I wish to welcome with a great respect Honorable Minister Nasir Ahmed, the leader, the visionary who developed national strategies aligning with global economy and global environmental strategies. And also, I wish to welcome the Secretary of Ministry of Environment, Dr. Anil Jaising, the strategical leader of the ministry and all other uh, additional secretaries of the ministry. And of course, you all, so all the <coughs> no argument, you all, it is your day. The day appreciating your great efforts, your great thoughts and your great practices in industries and in the society. So it is my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you all the recept of the Presidential Award and I warmly welcome all other distinguished guests and my staff of Central Environment Authority. So under the leadership of His Excellency, the President, it is the policy of the government to create blue-green digital economy in Sri Lanka by achieving the sustainable development goals which is a timely approach and in order to continue the success of blue-green digital economy, Central Environment Authority, under the guidance of Honorable Minister and the Ministry of Environment, Sri Lanka is achieving, uh, under the leadership of Ministry of Environment, has implemented a number of social events, and number of awarding events throughout the history. Among the social-centric programs implemented by the Central Environment Authority, this Presidential Environmental Award program is a unique program which highlights all the industries throughout the country and individuals who are contributing to the environment. One of the main objective of the program is to confer the Presidential Environment Awards at the award ceremony held under the patronage of His Excellency the President in recognition of the industries, businesses, institutions, innovations, and eco-friendly projects. Furthermore, building a green industry business and service sector in the country, encouraging society for eco-friendly works, and building people society for sustainable developments are the other objectives of this encouraging event. As we all know, the world, whole world carries in three pillars, economy, environment, and society. Therefore, the balance in between those pillars are really, really important. So with, the, with that background, Central Environment Authority in Sri Lanka plays its role as the premier regulatory body in environment protection of Sri Lanka under the National Environment Act. Furthermore, Central Environment Authority builds widespread public participation in environment protection through several activities such as we are doing environment pioneer program for school students, we are doing provincial level NGO programs, awarding ceremony like this, and several uh, day celebrations with international environmental calendar. So this Presidential Environmental Award 2021-2022 is being organized by the Central Environment Authority as one of the flagship programs among these events. So due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation and political unrest and economical unrest makes this event little delay 
which we had to held in 2023, but we are fortunate to have that event at least with a small delay. So in this awarding ceremony, it is organized under two major sectors and as very correctly, 20, around 20 number of awards, award sectors are be awarding in this ceremony. 90 environmental awardees, including presidential awardees, have been selected out of the hundreds of applications with the help of expertise in the field. So, as the majority of the people in front of me are industries or the economic leaders in the country, I wish to share my thought. Yes, we all emit whatever the energies or effluents or we are doing some unhealthy practices, not only in Sri Lanka but also all over the world through our industrial activities and day-to-day -day activities which cause unbalance our natural cycles, cycles and make severe environmental problems like global warming and uh, several other impacts. So it is our duty for all of us to protect our mother environment. This can't protect with the central, uh, only with central environment authority. It is all of our responsibilities to protect the nature with our day-to-day -day activities as well as our industrial activities. So finally, I welcome you all and I wish all the awardees to a successful uh, practice in their ground levels and I wish all the best for everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Mr. Supun S. Patrage, thank you for your welcome address. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the awards of recognition, we have merit, we have bronze, silver, and gold, and we thought we'll take you through a panel of judges. And there is a big list of judges who have supported us for the year 2021-2022. They've uh, gone through Lakshita, and the, probably the most daunting task because, uh, you know, the COVID, the economic difficulty, going online, being physically present, all of that was a part of these two years. Which is why we thought we'd uh, appreciate and acknowledge their efforts right at the beginning of this program before we proceeded ahead. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, the expert panel of judges for the best government institution that contributes to the environment category comprised of Director General of National Institute of Labor Studies, Mr. WMD Suranga Gunaratna, Director of Urban Development Authority, Mrs. Chandana Kalupahana, and former Deputy Director General of Central Environmental Authority, Mr. UK DJ Jaya Singha. We also have the best private institution that contributes to the environment, our judge panel, Mr. Suranga Gunaratna, Director General, National Institute of Labor Studies, the Director of Waste Management Authority, Mr. Nalin Mana Peruma, and the Council Member of the Institute of Environmental Professionals, Sri Lanka, Mr. Janaka Vijay Sekara. In the industry category, the former Director General of Central Environmental Authority, Mr. K. H. Mutukudarachi, Senior Professor at the Department of Chemical and Process Engineering at the University of Moratua, Professor Ajit D. Alvis, Consultant at the Faculty of Graduate Studies, University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, Engineer Sena Piris, Consultant Energy, Environment Sustainability, and Director of Sri Lanka Energy Managers Association, Mr. Nimal Pereira, and Director Systems Certification, Sri Lanka Standards Institution, Ms. Samanthi Narangoda as the panel of judges. Can we give them a round of applause, everybody? Come on. <laughs> now, we also would like to introduce you to our judge panel for media. We have Dr. Tudor Veera Singer, Senior Lecturer, Sri Pali Campus, University of Colombo, Mr. Dayalankapura, the Senior Journalist, former editor for several national newspapers, we also had the former Director News and Director Research and Training of the Sri Lanka Rupani Corporation and former Specialist Strategic Communications of Information and Communication Technology Agency of Sri Lanka, Mr. TMG Chandra Sekara, as well as the Special Cor 
correspondent, Delhi FT, former assistant editor of the Sunday Times English medium, Mrs. Chandani Kirinde, as well as the senior journalist of the Tamil medium, Mr. Ravi Ratnavel. Moving on to the renewable energy generation projects, mini hydropower projects category. The judge panel comprised of a senior lecturer in mechanical engineering at the Department of Mechanical Engineering, University of Moratua, Dr. Tusita Sugatapala, Deputy General Manager R&D or Research and Development at the Ceylon Electricity Board, Mr. KGRF Comister, and Deputy Director General Supply Side Management of the Sri Lanka Sustainable Energy Authority, Mr. H.A. Vimal Nadir. Now, school sector, our judge panel is BLD Balasuri, retired Director of Education, Agriculture and Environmental Studies branch from the Ministry of Education and Director, Department of Science from the National Institute of Education, Dr. A.D.A. De Silva, as well as the retired Senior Lecturer from the National Institute of Education, Mr. W.D. Vijay Singha. In the category of Environment Friendly Innovation, the judge panel comprised of Senior Scientific Office of the National Science Foundation, Dr. Nilupuli Sigera Nadugala, Assistant Director Research of the Ministry of Education, Mrs. S.K. Lakmini, Legal Consultant at the Central Environmental Authority, Dr. Jagat Gunavardhana, Research Fellow and Director Techno Entrepreneurship of the Industrial Technology Institute, Dr. Manjula Kumara Vijay Sirivardhana, Research Engineer at National Engineering Research and Development Center of Sri Lanka, Engineer Mr. M.D. Sahardi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Presidential Environmental Awards judges, it's what's coming up on your screen in a short moment. When it comes to the base management of local authorities, we have Dr. Padmini Batuitage, the consultant solid base management, Mr. Ms. Sujiva Fernando from the Ministry of Environment, uh, the Assistant Director EPC and CM, as well as the Assistant Director for the National Solid Waste Management Support Center, Mr. DP Indika. That's for waste management of local authorities. Then we have the industrial initiatives to promote three R concept. Our judges for you, the senior lecturer from the University of Sri Javardhanapura, Dr. Randika Jai Singha, Director of National Craft Council, Ms. Chandramali Lianage, and the Assistant Director EPC and CM from the Ministry of Environment. Ms. Sujiva Fernando. Can we put our hands together for all those judges so far, ladies and gentlemen? And the final expert panel, ladies and gentlemen, who assisted to select the best individual who is committed for environmental conservation and the best non-government organization which is committed for environment conservation. The panel of experts comprised of former Deputy Director General of Central Environmental Authority, Mr. UK DJ Jaya Singha. Additional Secretary, Environment, Policy and Planning, Mrs. R.H.M.P. Abe Korn, and Attorney at Law, Dr. Jagat Gunavardhana. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for all these experts, the panels of judges who I'm sure had to go through a tedious process to select these awards, the winners who are here with us today. All right. Are you ready? Let's get on with the awards now, ladies and gentlemen. From all that list, we are ready to start with the Presidential Environment Awards with the Merit Award recipients. To present the award, we'd like to very warmly invite on stage the Chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Mr. Supun S. Padrage, and he'll be accompanied by the Director General of the CEA, Mr. P. B. Hemantha Jaya Singha, Mr. Ajit Virasundara, the Deputy Director General, Waste Management and Actor DGD of Environment Education and Awareness, as well as Dr. Sanjay Ratnayaka, Deputy Director Director General Environment Protection and the Acting DDG Regional Operation. Can we put our hands together for our presenters as they join us on stage? And we begin with Merit. Merit Awards, yes. Merit now, Awards. We want you to give your best applause because being a part of the Presidential Awards can be very tough and at the same time receiving a merit is one step in the foundation. Let's begin. Merit Awards for the category Waste Management of Local Authorities. Merit Award winner Balanguda Urban Council. Next one from the Devilapitiya Pradesh Sabha, Waste Management of Local Authorities.
renewable energy generation projects, solar power projects, Anoki Lanka Private Limited, Barutakanda Solar Power Project. Merit Award recipients coming up on stage. We've got a big long list, so we're going to speed it up a little fast. Here we go. From the school category, now I want you to give your best applause from 1AB, Hemamali Girls School, Girls College, Candy. Merit Award winner from school category 1AB, Mahamaya Girls College, Candy. And joining us from the school category is School 1AB, St. Paul's Girls School, Milagiria. Merit Award winner for School Category 1AB, Dadigama Parakumba Mahavidyalaya Tuntota. And next, School 1AB, Viharama Devi Balika Vidyalaya Kiribat Goda. We move on to School Category 1C, a Merit Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Vidyaloka Mahavidyalaya Tanne Kumbura. Joining us next, School 1C, Mahanama College, Kendi. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, from School 1C category, Merit Award winner, Mahamaya Balika Vidyalaya Matara. Also joining us, School 1C, Mailapitiya Mahavidyalaya Mailapitiya. In School Category 1C, Merit Award winner, Subodhi Mahavidyalaya Kiralogama. Joining us next, School Time 2 and 3, Akurugoda Senani Vidyalaya Tilijavila. School Type 2 and 3 category Merit Award winner, Tellambura Vijaya Kanishta Vidyalaya Tellambura Nakia Denia. Joining us next, school time two and three. Colon winner KV Galabadda Monaragala. And ladies and gentlemen, the final school category award winner for the merit category, school type two and three, merit award winner, Ruanwella Primary College, Ruanwella. Let's put our hands together and give a round of applause for all the schools setting the step, the foundation, giving them the encouragement as well. Thank you. Next, solid waste recovery, recycling, disposal and processing plants, International Construction Consortium, Private Limited, Min Area. Up next from the same category of solid waste recovery, recycling, disposal or processing plants, Merit Award winner, Eco Spindles Private Limited Recycling Plant and Yarn Plant, Horana. Joining us next, Chemical Industries, Lanka IOC PLC, Drinkamali Oil Terminal.
Up next, ladies and gentlemen, from the same category of Chemical Industries, Merit Award winner, Royal Ceramics Lanka PLC, Horanda Plant. And joining us next, Vehicle Servicing Center, Savon Tower Services Private Limited, Ratnapura Road, Gattahatta. Next on stage from the Vehicle Servicing Category, or rather Vehicle Servicing Center Category, Merit Award winner, Singha Automotive Company Private Limited, Ambalantota. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to food and beverage industries. Edinburgh Products Private Limited, Albarava Paduka. From the food and beverages industries category, the next merit award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Palwatha Dairy Industries Limited, Palwatha Buttala. Hotels for you, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Barberine Reef Ayurveda Resort Hospital, Private Limited, Beruela. And representing the hotels category, the next merit award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Nuarelia Hotels Company PLC, Grand Hotel Nuarelia. Textile and Textile Processing Industries, Texland Center Private Limited, Dangona Road, Menowangoda. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next category of Merit Award winners is from the Hospitals category. We have Base Hospital, Kalmune North, Kalmune. Next, from the hospital category, Base Hospital, Samanthure, Samanthure. We move on to the rubber-based products industries category. The Merit Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Samson International PLC, Akurasa Road, Bogahagoda. Ladies and gentlemen, from rubber-based products industries, we move on to apparel industries now. We like to recognize Hydra Money Industries Private Limited, Kurovita. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, from the apparel industries category, Merit Award winner, MAS Active Private Limited, Mihintale. And summing up our Merit Award recipients, we conclude with Tea Factories. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause to Radhaela Tea Factory, Thalava Kelly Tea Estate, PLC, Nanoya. With that, we'd like to say thank you to our chairman, CEA, Mr. Supun S. Pathirage, as well as our presenters who have joined us for the presentation. Can we put our hands together for all our Merit Award recipients? Congratulations to you. And next year, we'd like to see you in another step up in a category as well. Right. Well, uh, with concluding the Merit Award presentations, ladies and gentlemen, we invite on stage and we hand over the stage to Sanchana Shashi Dancing Foundation. Please put your hands together and welcome your entertainers.
Sanction and Sashi Dancing Foundation bring you that fabulous entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. Presidential Environment Awards, ladies and gentlemen, we now get ready to recognize the Bronze Award recipients this morning. And to present the Bronze Awards, we'd like to most cordially invite onto the stage the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment, Dr. Anil Jasinghe, and to accompany Dr. Jasinghe on stage, the Chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Mr. Supun S. Patirage, Director General of Central Environmental Authority, Mr. P. B. Hemantha Jayasinghe, Acting Deputy Director General of Regional Operations, Mr. H. S. Premachandra, and Deputy Director General of General Waste Management and Acting Deputy D Director General for Environment, Education and Awareness, Mr. Ajit Veerasundara. Can we put our hands together for our presenters as they join us on stage? Bronze winners, ladies and gentlemen, presidential awards, and we begin with our first recipient. Best government institution that contributes to the environment, District Secretariat, Monaragala. Waste Management of Local Authorities Category, Kaduela Municipal Council. Come on, put your hands together. Let's hear it. Bronze winners. And joining us next on stage is also from the Waste Management of Local Authorities, ladies and gentlemen, Kulia Pitya Urban Council. From the category of Waste Management of Local Authorities, the next Bronze Award winner, Katankudi Urban Council. Congratulations. And joining us next from the Renewable Energy Generation Project, Solar Power Projects, Nadum Kulam Solar Power Project, Widexa Lanka Power Corporation, Private Limited. Konikanga Plasika, Bessavagi. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Good to see some known and popular faces here this morning. Let's recognize, we now move on to schools. We now move on to schools. School category 1AB, Bronze Award winner, Sita Devi Palika Mahavidyalaya Candy. Thank you for your applause. Let's keep it going. Next up, school type 1C, Siddhartha Mahavidyalaya Ranna. Yes, we invite you to join us on stage, receive the award, put a big smile. This is a wonderful moment to receive a Presidential Environment Award. On that note, school type 2 and 3 category, Bronze Award winner, Senkatagala Virodhara Vidyalaya Candy. We now move on to chemical industries, ladies and gentlemen, to a very strong company, Royal Ceramics Lanka PLC Aliagoda. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Vehicle Servicing Center category, your Bronze Award winner, Driveline Kinsman Auto Private Limited Badulla. And food and beverages industries, ladies and gentlemen, Vijay Products Private Limited, Dodangoda, Kalutara. Up next, we move on to the category of textile and textile processing industries, Coast Thread Export Private Limited, Millava. And next, ladies and gentlemen, is Pharmaceutical Products and Personal Care Products Industries, Canon Life Science Private Limited Candy.
in the rubber based products industries category your bronze award winner Trelleberg Lanka Private Limited Levin Drive Markola Come on everybody put your hands together Bronze award winners next we move on to apparel industries MAS Active Private Limited Contour Line Division Candy In the tea factories category, the bronze award winner, Strathpey Estate Muscalia Plantations PLC. Ladies and gentlemen, exploratory environmental reporting, print media, singular, Nidarshani Vikramasinghe, other national paper. We're going to continue with the final two awards. Next, Exploratory Environmental Reporting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments from now, we we'll witness the arrival of His Excellency, the President, joining us here. And soon after that, we'll continue with the balance to Bronze Award recipients.
Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to please rise from your seats for the arrival of the chief guest. We say a very warm welcome to His Excellency Rania Wickremesinghe, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, for the Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022. Your Excellency, we were distributing the bronze awards and we'll be continuing in the distribution of giving away just two more bronze awards to the balance to recipients. Soon after that, we'll continue with the rest of the proceedings. To do the honours, we once again would like to invite Dr. Anil Singer, Secretary, Ministry of Environment, who will be accompanied by the Chairman of the Central Environmental Authority, Mr. Supunes Patrage, as well as Mr. P. B. Hemantha Jaya Singer, Mr. H. S. Premachandra, as well as Mr. Ajit Vira Surundara. Can we put our hands together as we invite this our presentation party to join us on stage? Presentation of awards, ladies and gentlemen, we were recognizing the schools, the renewable energy generation projects, vehicle servicing center, food and beverages, textile and textile processing, among many other categories as well. Let's continue with the balance two categories, which is exploratory environmental reporting, print media, Tamil, MHF Husna, Sunday Thinakaral. Ladies and gentlemen, the final bronze award winner, exploratory environmental production television media category, Danushka Priyadarshana from Swarnavahini. Come on, put your hands together. Let's hear it for all the Bronze Award recipients. Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022. With that, we'd like to say thank you to Mr. Padrage, Mr. Jaya Singer, and Mr. Veera Sundara and Mr. Premachandra while we invite the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment for his address. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we give a big round of applause to Dr. Anil Jaya Singer to address you at the Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022. Thank you. His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe, the President of Sri Lanka, Honorable Nazir Ahmad, the Minister of Environment, additional secretaries, and other officials from Minister of Environment, Chairman of the Central Environment Authority, Mr. Supun Patirage, DG of Central Environment Authority, Mr. Hemat Jayasinghe, officials of the Central Environment Authority, and other officials from government sector. All winners of the Presidential Environment Awards, principals, teachers, students, invitees. As of today, existence of humanity is in threat. Over past centuries, the humanity did everything to be comfortable disregarding the future generations and the life on Earth and the limitations of the resources. As a result, today we are left with an unparalleled environmental crisis. The climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution. Together, we call them triple planetary crisis. In certain criteria, the triple planetary crisis has exceeded its limits, the so-called planetary limits, uh, leading to irrevocable damage to the Mother Earth. The climate change is the biggest environmental problem that humanity is facing. The greenhouse emissions result in global warming and in return result in climate change. 
The climate change is causing havoc and together with biodiversity loss and pollution threatening the mere existence of life on Earth. Basically, major emitters are major industrialized countries. Major emitting sectors are energy, industries and transport. I'm sure the audience today mainly consists of industrialists. Sri Lanka is a minute contributor to GHG emissions when compared to the other countries. And, but Sri Lanka is a, one of the highest vulnerable countries to the impact of climate change. The actions that are taken to mitigate climate change are two prong. That's uh, uh, that, that's a reduction of GHG emissions and adaptation to impacts of climate change. So uh, we call these actions uh, uh, climate action. Other than producing GHG emissions, industries can pollute, uh, industries can emit ozone depleting substances. Industries can, can pollute the environment by the waste that they produce. Industries can pollute ground and water bodies through their effluents. So in this context, I thank the Central Environment Authority for its efforts in continuing the Presidential Award Scheme, which catalyzes the organizations to take care of environment while rendering their goods and services. The Ministry of Environment mandated with sustainable management of the environment and natural resources of the country. Since the environment is a cross-cutting area, we cannot accomplish our mission by us working alone. So therefore, we in the Ministry of Environment, we work closely with the other ministries, the agencies, private sector and the community as a whole. Our national initiatives are aligned with global targets. We implement programs not only for national interest, but on global scale and our outcomes are aligned to achieve sustainable development goals. Despite our low carbon emissions and high vulnerability, Sri Lanka commits to reducing GHG emissions. Some of the Sri Lanka's commitments to United Nations Convention on Climate Change are following. To achieve 70% electricity through renewable sources by 2030, to increase the forest cover to 32% by 2030 from the present 29.2%, to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050 and no capacity addition of coal power plants further. The COP27, which was held in Egypt last year, was historic for Sri Lanka as the His Excellency President of Sri Lanka proposed like-minded countries to have a common understanding and concerted effort in climate action. Further, His Excellency President proposed to establish an international climate change university in Sri Lanka with an ancillary institution in Maldives. The President also launched Climate Prosperity Plan of Sri Lanka at COP27. The Climate Prosperity Plan is a paradigm shift in environment protection and sustainable development. CPP is a blue blueprint for environment protection through greening Sri Lanka. This is why the entry of his Excellency the President can be considered a turning point. You have shown us how to look at environment through a modern eye beyond conventional environmental protection. The environment management generally considered a cost in past, but now we consider it as an investment. If we don't understand the symbiotic relationship between the environment management and economic development, we fail altogether. 
Your Excellency, your vision on green Sri Lanka has catalyzed us in the environment sector. The Ministry of Environment, under the able guidance of Honorable Nazir Ahmed, the Minister of Ministry of Environment is doing its level best to transform your vision to reality, together with the senior advisor to the President on Climate Change and all the other stakeholders. Following are some of the areas that we are working extensively. Some of them already completed and some of them are on the way. Revision of the National Environment Act, formulation of National Climate Change Policy, formulation of National Climate Act, formulation of National Environment Action Plan 2020-2030, working on International Climate Change University, formulation of Green Procurement Framework, formulation of Green Labeling Framework, implementation of Sri Lanka's nationally driven contributions, formulation of Net Zero 2050 Roadmap, contributing to realization of debt for nature shops and green bonds, contributing to marine spatial planning, contributing to renewable energy drive, planning to plan to complete strategic environment assessment for all nine provinces by April 2024. The joint credit mechanism was signed with Japan and now it's in implementation stage. Discussions are going on to sign a similar agreement with Singapore. The host country agreements were signed with Global Green Growth Institute and World Agro Agroforestry Institute, ICRAF. Establishment of emission trading system for Sri Lanka, popularly known as ETS. This cap and trade mechanism is used in many countries to reduce carbon pollution. As an initiative put forward by Honorable Minister, the ministry and affiliated organizations are currently working on climate envoy program and, and international mineral, uh, uh, mineral and mining forum. For environment, as an overarching sector, to be a catalyst of investment, Your Excellency, we have to organize the sector carefully and systematically for a better environmental governance. We believe that certain fiscal barriers need to be looked into. I'm sure uh, you are much, much aware than us. For, for example, a self-sustaining environment fund would be important for us to forge ahead with our mission. Through such fiscal space, only countries have developed their sectors. I take this opportunity to congratulate the winners of the presidential uh, award scheme, and we expect all of you to raise your bar and forge ahead on green path. Also, let me acknowledge all those who participated in this uh, competition. I'm sure the Central Environment Authority with the Ministry of Environment will come up with a much more improved version of presidential award scheme next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment, Dr. Anil Jasinger. Thank you very much once again, sir. And ladies and gentlemen, distinguished invitees, we invite you to kindly direct your attention to the LED screens. <laughs>
our duty to protect now and for future. It's time to gather to meet all challenges. It's time to gather for a sustainable solution. It's time to gather for a better world. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next once again is the Sanchana Sashi Dancing Foundation.
Thank you very much. We'd once again like to extend our gratitude to the Sanchana Sashi Dancing Foundation for providing us with the entertainment items here at the Presidential Environmental Awards and of course for that wonderful display and that artistic performance. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, it must be mentioned that the music track that you heard in the background was the winning song at the 2022 Environmental Day competition. So it adds to the speciality of that performance, I believe. Yes, the winning song in the year 2020 for Environment Day. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the address by the Honorable Minister of Environment here at the Presidential Environment Awards 2021-2022. We'd like to very warmly invite to the stage the Honorable Engineer Nasir Ahmed, Minister of Environment. Can we please put our hands together as we invite the Honorable Minister for his address? Your Excellency, the President Ranil Vikrama Singh, Dr. Anil Jha Singh, Secretary to the Ministry of Environment, all other senior officials, distinguished invitees, winners of Presidential Environmental Award 2021-22, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of His Excellency, the President Ranil Vikrama Singh, I am pleased to welcome you today to the Presidential Environment, Environmental Awards presentation 21-22. It is His Excellency the President's deeply held belief that the environment lies at the core of all we do in this country. As we work to protect our environment, we also are working to protect our health, our communities, our families and our nation. That is why His Excellency the President pay special attention and recognition to the individuals and entities of this country who have worked so diligently to safeguard our waters, air and land. They are our nation's future and these people and entities we honor today are working hard to protect the world of the future, the world that our children will inherit. It is also a great pleasure to see the enthusiasm of the business sector and the community in conserving the environment. Personally, it is indeed an honor to speak here and share weaves the renowned business leaders and friends of the environment from different, different sectors in Sri Lanka. We are recognizing today 90 exceptional individuals and entities from across the nation who have applied ingenuity, commitment, and a deep concern about the world around them to the critically important task of safeguarding our environment. These awards honor all of these individuals and their entities for taking extraordinary steps to learn about local environmental problems, to educate others, and most importantly, to take action for their communities by helping clean the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the la land we live on. Under the visionary leadership of His Excellency the President Ranil Vikramasinghe, the government is taking the lead in implementing various measures to protect our biological diversity and mitigate and adapt to climate change impact. The key pillars of His Excellency the President Ranil Vikramasinghe that the green transition vision and the climate prosperity plan declared at the COP27 summit in Egypt last year and the blue and green economic development strategy outlined in his budget speech for 2023. At present, the government is busy putting in place 
the necessary legislative framework and institutional infrastructure to stimulate green investments, green financing, particularly for the business sector, and carbon credit mechanism to boost economic benefits to the nation based on our inherited unique ecological assets. It is encouraging to see that our people are getting more and more environment conscious. Environmental protection has evolved from a slogan to a mindset that affects people's habits and choices. In response to the growing demand of the public for more environment-friendly business practices, many leaders in the business sector are quickly becoming aware that taking a socially and environmentally responsible approach is essential for building up good images for the companies and ensuring vibrant and sustainable business development. I believe all of you as business leaders and friends of the environment hold the same vision that means of generating short-term profits should give way to new and greener practices which can reduce costs and improve efficiency and at the same time prevent pollution and minimize the emission of greenhouse gases. We are very proud of all of you for the outstanding work you have done. These awards recipients have brought better recycling to their communities, preserved sensitive land to protect wildlife and native plants, explored new environmental technologies, raised awareness, and educated others about the impact each and every one of us can have on the environment. I wish to thank all those individuals and entities contributed directly and indirectly to these success stories for supporting and guiding these talented individuals as they created these projects. Sri Lanka is currently facing, currently on a fast recovery track. Out of its worst economic crisis, under the visionary leadership of His Excellency the President Ranil Vikramasinghe. The recovery process is taking place at a time Sri Lanka is also undergoing an ambitious green transition process. Also spearheaded by His Excellency the President Ranil Vikramasinghe. I want to request all award recipients today to look at this scenario as a great opportunity and to evolve firm level business and technological solutions. By combining these two aspects and developing green solutions that will give you economic competitive edge. The theory of economic competitiveness is now evolving to be a one based on green solutions and environmental sustainability. In conclusion, I wish, to, I wish all the winners success in their endeavors and your extraordinary efforts to ensure that our environment is cleaner, safer, and healthier for future generations. You have made great contributions to your communities and to the nation. The work of His Excellency the President Ranil Vikramasinghe to provide the Sri Lankan people with safe drinking water, clean air, and safe land, land is greatly enriched by your efforts. That is why you are here today, and that is why the nation bestows you with these honors. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your address and for highlighting the areas that we are about to progress as well.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the silver awards of the presidential awards. We had the merit, we had the bronze, and we're ready to present the silver awards. To accompany our presenter, the Honorable Minister, we'd like to invite on stage the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment, Dr. Anil Jha Singha, together with the Chairman of CEA, Mr. Supurnes Patrage, and the Director General of CEA, Mr. P.B. Hemantha Jha Singha. Can we put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we invite our presenters to join us on stage. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, silver winners, waste management of local authorities, Candy Municipal Council. In the category of best government institution that contributes to the environment, silver winner, ladies and gentlemen, NSBM Green University, Pitipana Homagama. Come on, it's a silver. We need to hear it louder. We now move on to the schools, ladies and gentlemen. School 1AB, Sivali Central College, Ratnapura. In the school's category, school type 1C, silver award winner, Subharati Mahamatya Mahavidyalaya Godagama. School type 2 and 3, DSN Anaika College, Matra. Next, ladies and gentlemen, is the category of solid waste recovery, recycling, disposal, or processing plants, and the silver award winner, Nitya Paper and Boards Private Limited, Horana. Chemical Industries, ladies and gentlemen, silver award recipient, E.B. and Company, PLC, Milava. Ladies and gentlemen, we expect your continuous appreciation and encouragement for these winners. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the Vehicle Servicing Center category. The Silver Award winner, Diesel and Motor Engineering PLC Servicing Facility and Logistics Center, Valivaria. Joining us next, Food and Beverage Industries, Cargill's Quality, Dairies Private Limited, Mandura Goda. We now move on to the hotels category and the Silver Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, the Blackpool Hotel, Nuarelia. Ladies and gentlemen, textile and textile processing industries. What goes to Haley's Fabric PLC, Naboda. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, in the category of pharmaceutical products and personal care products industries, the Silver Award winner. Hittigoda Industries Private Limited, Ratmalana. Here we go. Hittigoda Industries Private Limited, Ratmalana, ladies and gentlemen. Rubber Base Products Industries. Congratulations to. Dip Products PLC, Panni Pitiya. In, 
the category of apparel industries silver award winner ladies and gentlemen ckt apparel private limited yatiana agalavatta just a few more awards to go recipients of the silver winners ladies and gentlemen t factories is the category and the winner Somerset Estate, Tea Factory, Talavakale, Tea Estate, PLC, Nanoya. We move on to recognize the media and their contribution towards environmental conservation. Under the next category of Exploratory Environmental Reporting Print Media, Singhala, Silver Award winner, Subhashini Chandima Jayaratna from Silumina Lake House, Colombo. Exploratory Environmental Production Television Media. And the award goes to Sirasa TV News First. The final Silver Award winner for today, ladies and gentlemen, in the Renewable Energy Generation Projects Mini Hydropower Projects category. The Silver Award winner is Kiriwan Elia Mini Hydropower Project, Country Energy Private Limited, Colombo One. Can we put our hands together for all the Silver Award recipients? Come on, everybody, let's hear it. Congratulations and with that we'd like to say thank you to the Honourable Minister for joining us for the presentation as well as the address. Thank you to Dr. Anil Jayasinghe, Mr. Supun Patrage and Mr. Hemantha Jayasinghe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special video coming up on the Central Environmental Authority. We want to invite you to draw or feast your attention towards the screen now. The Central Environment Authority was established on the 12th of August 1981 by the National Environment Act No. 47 of 1980. The purpose of establishing the Central Environment Authority was to fulfill the vacuum of a national body for environmental regulation in Sri Lanka which can, through scientific, technical, legal and educational means, ensure sustainable development. For more than 40 years now, as the National Professional Body for Environmental Regulation, the Central Environmental Authority has fulfilled its role with great enthusiasm by facing many challenges to endow the country with a clean and green environment through service excellence. It is also noteworthy that the Central Environment Authority has played a significant role in professionalizing the environmental sector in the country. The field of environmental protection and conservation covers a wide area. The CEA has the responsibility of protecting soil, water, air, which are considered as natural resources, Various methods or tools are used strategically by the Central Environmental Authority to make sure the national environmental regulations are implemented successfully. The environmental impact assessment process is used as a tool to guide development projects of national importance in an environmentally friendly manner. In this way, necessary guidelines and approvals are granted to these development projects. For the conservation of natural resources, ecologically important sensitive ecosystems have been identified and so far 10 places have been named as environmental protection areas and published in the Gazette and steps have been taken to conserve them. The Central Environment Authority is always working to actively get public participation to fulfill its national tasks. To encourage public participation, public comments and environmental complaints can be provided through our official website www.cea.lk. 
We can also be connected through the email address complaint at cea.lk, direct phone number 1981, and by post in writing. Steps have been taken to control environmental pollution by using the Environmental Protection License Systems as a tool to control environmental pollution caused by industries. Air resource management measures have been taken to control air pollution and air quality measurement units are installed in several major cities of the island and are monitored daily. Constant water quality test care is conducted on rivers, reservoirs and we work to maintain their quality. We have introduced the polythene ban to control plastic and polythene waste to prevent harm to human health and the environment. Accordingly, from September 1, 2017, the production, trade, promotion and use of low-density polyethylene products such as food wrappers, silly-silly bags, food packaging, polystyrene boxes, etc. have been banned. The use of polythene for decoration and the burning of polythene in the open are prohibited. In addition to this, after a legal grace period imposed from January 1, 2021 and effective from March 31st, the production, trade and production of chemicals or agrochemicals in plastic bottles and PVC packaging, sachet packaging, a number of inflatable toys, cotton buds made of plastic sticks, etc. has been prohibited. Cabinet approval has also been received for banning the import, domestic manufacture, sale and distribution of a number of items made of plastic polyethylene such as single-use drinking straws and stirrers, yogurt spoons, plates, cups, spoons, forks, knives, garlands, pots and pans, etc. To prevent the damage caused to the environment by electronic waste due to improper disposal, electronic waste is collected annually at national level and sent for recycling. Regulatory functions and field programs are implemented to protect the environment from hazardous waste and harmful chemicals. We also launch environmental care services through our provincial and district offices to collect and properly dispose irregularly disposed policy and plastic waste during festivals to protect the environment in Sri Pada, Anuradhapura, Kandy, Kataragama, Palavila, etc. Education and training programs as well as public participation in environmental promotion programs are constantly being implemented in order to create interest among the public for environmental conservation as well as to actively contribute to environmental conservation. The Central Environment Authority uses the established nature field centers at regional level to implement environmental education, training programs as well as field environment programs. Members of the National Environment Pioneer Program, Building Future Leaders who protect the environment, regularly participate in those public environmental programs. A large collection of books, newspapers, journal articles related to environment and full text of all CEA publications are available on National Environment Information Center of CEA. The Central Environment Authority is always working to provide efficient service to entrepreneurs, industrialists who are among our main clients. The Central Environment Authority has extended its unstinted support to the government to fulfill its goal to build the country through a blue-green digital economy as part of the Sustainable Development Strategy. The preservation of the ecological heritage of our motherland Sri Lanka for the next generation is our priority and commitment to the nation's environment house. While taking scientific and legal measures to control industrial pollution in order to build an environment-friendly industry and business culture that is a green industry culture, a social motivation program called Presidential Environment Awards has been implemented 
for many years under a number of disciplines to motivate entrepreneurs as well as general public. The Presidential Environment Awards Ceremony for the year 2021-2022 is being held today. That was a very brief video for you, ladies and gentlemen, which also brings us to a very special announcement from last year. And that is to say, ladies and gentlemen, that since 2022, the Central Environmental Authority is an ISO 9001-2015 certified organization, which we consider to be a great honor for uh, us as a nation and especially for the Central Environmental Authority. And that recognition, ladies and gentlemen, deservedly goes to the CEA. On that note, we move on to the next set of awards. Sharon, what is the next set of awards? The most awaited awards, ladies and gentlemen, the prestigious gold awards and the presidential environmental awards. Here we go. We'd like to very warmly invite to the stage His Excellency Rani Vikramasinghe, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, as our presenter. He'll be accompanied by the Honorable Engineer Nasir Rahman, Minister of Environment, the Secretary of the Ministry of Environment, Dr. Anuja Singha, Chairman of CEA, Mr. Supunes Patrage, as well as the Director General of CEA, Mr. P.B. Hemantha Jaya Singer, to join the presentation. Can we put our hands together? Ladies and gentlemen, here's the final set of awards this morning. And gold winners is what we're about to recognize. Your best applause will be very much appreciated. Let's go. Best government institution that contributes to the environment goes to... Naval Dockyard Trincomalee. Put your hands together. Let's hear it. Naval Dockyard Trincomalee, gold winner at the Presidential Environment Awards. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, in the category of Best Private Sector Institute that contributes to the environment, the gold winner, the Presidential Award winner, Vario Systems Private Limited, Badalgama. Keep it going, keep it going. Gold Award winners, ladies and gentlemen. Our next recipient, Exploratory Environmental Reporting, Print Media, Singular, Rahul Samantha Hityarachi from Other Newspaper. Exploratory Environmental Reporting, Print Media, English Category. The Presidential Environmental Award Gold Winner, ladies and gentlemen, from the Ceylon Today newspaper, Sulochana Ramaya Mohan. Exploratory Environmental Production, Television, Media. The award goes to RKB Dananja Ilagolla of Shraddha TV. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, Exploratory Environmental Production Radio Media. This is a joint award going out to Anuradha Rohana Kapukotua and Kanchana Kumara Aryadasa from Rangiri, Sri Lanka. Come on, keep it going. Gold winners. Two award winners. Congratulations to the both of you. Let's hear it one more time for them, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Chemical Industries, the winner, Tokyo Cement Company, Lanka, Kot Bay, China Bay. With that, we move on to the Food and Beverages Industries category. The Presidential Environmental Award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Premium Exports, Ceylon Private Limited, Unilever City Factory, Agarapatana. Now, hotels. And the gold award goes to Royal Palms Beach Hotel, Kalutara. In 
the textile and textile processing industries category. The Presidential Environmental Awards gold winner, ladies and gentlemen, Noyon Lanka Private Limited Malwana. Coming up next, Pharmaceutical Products and Personal Care Products Industries. Winner, Nature's Beauty Creations Private Limited, Horana. The next recipient of the Presidential Environmental Award, the gold winner for the hospitals category, ladies and gentlemen, Ashraf Memorial Hospital, Kalmune. It's gold winners, ladies and gentlemen, at the Presidential Environment Awards. Next, Apparel Industries. Congratulations to Bodyline Private Limited, Horana. Coming up next in the category of Renewable Energy Generation Projects for Mini Hydropower Projects, Wambia Goda Mini Hydropower Project, Walagamba Balashakti Private Limited, Colombo. Mini Hydropower Projects. Congratulations. Next, School 1C, Aludhenia Mahavidyalaya, Valigalla. With the Uda Aludhenia Mahavidyalaya Valigalla being awarded, up next in the school category type 1AB, the Presidential Environmental Award gold winner, Ferguson High School, Ratnapura. Best Environmental Friendly Innovation Open Category. And the winner from University of Moratua, Professor Rangika Umesh Halvatura. Come on, everybody. Presidential Awards. Let's put our hands together. The final Presidential Environmental Award for today's ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, in the best environment friendly innovation school category and the winner from Musius College Colombo Divinya Ravindi Premaratna We now have a special memento to be presented to the President. This is our way of saying thank you to the President for joining us here this morning at the 2021-2022 Presidential Environment Awards. Can we put our hands together for our President, ladies and gentlemen? There you have it. Thank you, sir, for joining us here this morning. Would we would kindly like to request His Excellency the President to remain and, of course, the Presidential Awards winners, the gold winners for today's program to join us uh, for a group photograph with His Excellency the President. We'd like to invite you to join us in front of the stage. In front of the stage to take a photograph with all the award recipients, gold award recipients joining us here for a group photograph. Many congratulations once again to the Presidential Environmental Awards winners, the Gold Awards winners today at this prestigious ceremony as we honor, acknowledge and we are truly appreciative of all the efforts that you have undertaken during the past many years to ensure that 
we take a step ahead in environmental conservation, that we take a step ahead in sustainable practices, and of course, in raising the environmental consciousness of society. Can we put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen? Here you go. The winners of the Presidential Environmental Awards. We're getting ready to move on to the next item of our agenda. I want to take the picture as soon as possible. Thank you very much to all the Presidential Awards winners for joining us and as we took the group photograph with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute honor and privilege to most cordially invite His Excellency, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, His Excellency President Ranil Vikramasinghe, to share a few thoughts with us. Honorable the Minister, the Secretary to the Ministry, Chairman of the CEA, distinguished guests, the award winners and friends. I must thank the Minister for inviting me to take part in the Presidential Awards scheme. I must commend all those who are amongst the award winners for the contribution we had made to improve the environment of this country. To them I say thank you. The previous speakers before me have outlined to you what Sri Lanka is doing in respect of its environment. So I do, I do not wish to deal with those uh, issues. <coughs> I would also like to mention to you during the debate on the IMF and earlier, I mentioned the need for a new economy, <coughs> a highly competitive economy, which is also a digital economy and a green economy. So as, these, as the, the <coughs> economic reforms and the restructuring begin, the restructuring will also involve Sri Lanka became, becoming a green economy. So that's the start, and there's a lot more work that has to be done. As we become a green economy, we also need the legislation. And there will be a lot of new legislation in the coming year, a new Environment Act, because our Environment Act was passed in the 80s. There has been far more uh, advances thereafter, a Climate Change Act, uh, Living Entities Act, like to have Singharaja, Horton Plains, uh, Peak Wilderness, Knuckles and Maha Valley as uh, living entities. We'll have to look at the Forest Act and bring a new one. We shall also cater for reforestation, uh, a law to protect Muthurajwela Swamp, and one on uh, protect scenic beauties. So that's a large number of uh, laws that have to be drafted and presented in the <coughs> coming year. In addition to it, Sri Lanka intends to play a role in the global uh, campaign for climate change mitigation. And that is going to be the International Climate Change University, which we propose here, which can be used 
by officials and NGOs and others for training in climate change and also for postgraduate awards. So this is our scheme of going ahead and giving priority to climate change mitigation, environment and a green economy. What we are faced with and a lot of the developing countries are faced with is a question of resources. How do we access them? The debt for nature swaps, are we getting the carbon credits? There are many uh, financial schemes and instruments available. How can we, uh, certainly, how can we, uh, all, all of us in all the countries, uh, attempt to get the benefit of these schemes? Sri Lanka certainly will, as a country, we are examining how we can benefit and how we can apply for the schemes. But the question is, it, uh, Sri Lanka alone cannot change the climate uh, change in the world. We, we are alone, uh, ourselves alone can't do it. The whole world has to do it. And there the question comes up, is there enough funding for all this? How do you find the money, the financial resources for these, uh, especially for climate change mitigation and protecting the environment? Now this is a question we have to ask because the actual damage was not done by us. The damage was done by the West and the other countries that decided to develop. So the developed countries through the process of industrialization, a number of wars, especially the two world wars and uh, even the Vietnam war, all have contributed to bringing around the climate change. Now we have to suffer the consequences. So what we say is that funding has to come uh, uh, in ad addition to what we have or what we can raise, there has to be a funding available from those who are responsible for it. Because as far as we are concerned, we can't put all our money into climate change. We have to look at education, we have to look at health, you had to look at infrastructure, all those has to be met with. Then where does the money come from? Where some in the developed world says, no, there is not enough money. To me, that is not an answer at all. The last uh, conference of parties also adopted the lost and damage principle. But again it means Okay, for the loss and damage, there must be money. If the financial resources can't come, well, it's like a judgment that can't be executed because one party hasn't got the money. So that's the loss and damage. So we have to ask. It's not that the world hasn't got money. If you look at the money that has been spent on the Ukraine war, on one side, Russia is spending a large amount of money. On the other side, the West. USA alone has given a hundred billion dollars to Ukraine. Then you have the Indo-Pacific, the rising tensions, how all sides are building more aircraft carriers, they are building more planes, they are strengthening their defenses. That's a few, uh, it's more than hundred billion there over the next few years. So where? That's America on one side, USA, China on the other side, India on one side. There's Japan, there's Australia, others who are uh, spending money. So look at the amount that goes on armaments and for various other purposes. So there is money and that money has to be made available. The other problem that we have in the developing world is most of the countries are reeling under debt. Sri Lanka is one of the first countries and have taken steps for us to get out, but that alone is not enough. The large number of countries that are reeling under debt, so they will have no resources, no resources to, for climate change mitigation. So these are two sides of the coin. Funding for climate change mitigation 
uh, for climate change mitigation projects and the access to that funding and secondly the debt issues of the developing economies these are two issues they are, they are, they are actually joined and this is what we have to raise and we have to discuss Sri Lanka certainly <coughs> will take this position as we go in for the next round of conferences regarding the environment and the climate. So I thought I'll outline to you what we are planning, what we are planning to do, both na nationally and internationally. The Honorable Minister has been leading that internationally, supported by the Foreign Affairs Ministry. But this will be one of the key planks of our foreign policy. And we have no doubt that Sri Lanka will take the lead in uh, ensuring that the developing economies have the resources certainly to mitigate climate change in their areas. And I would therefore thank you for having listened to me. Thank you, Your Excellency, for joining us here this morning. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say thank you and congratulations to each and every one of you for participating and being a part of the competition. Congratulations to those who won awards and to every one of you. As every human being, we have that initiative of taking that initial step, whether it's at home, whether it's at school, wherever you work. Thank you for taking that initial step of encouraging the others to be a part and save the planet. On that note, we mark the official conclusion of today's program. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our gratitude, our appreciation, and thank you very much for being here with us this morning as we conclude the Presidential Environmental Awards 21-22 with the hopes of seeing you in the coming year. Thank you very much, and do join us for refreshments outdoors. Thank you. <laughs>